Hello, this is Manoj Deepes from the Department of Electronics and Communication from SVC. I'm here to present a seminar topic on uh, energy harvesting techniques for Internet of Things. So let us continue with the presentation. So the contents are introduction, extensive literature review, objectives, proposed methodology, results, application, conclusion, and reference. So let us continue with the introduction. Actually, energy harvesting techniques for uh, Internet, of, Internet of Things refers to the methods of capturing and converting ambient energy sources into usable electrical power to power IoT devices. These devices are small and portable and are often used in remote locations where it may be difficult or impractical to replace batteries or connect to a power source. Energy harvesting techniques have become increasingly important for IoT devices due to their many advantages. These techniques can help to reduce the cost and environmental impacts associated with traditional batteries and can extend the lifetime of IoT devices by providing a more sustainable power sources. Each technique has its own unique advantage and disadvantage and the appropriate technique will depend on the specific application and the available resources. Solar energy is one of the most common en energy harvesting techniques for IoT devices as it can provide a relatively constant source of energy in outdoor environments. Thermal energy harvesting on the other hand invol involves using the temperature difference between the device and its surroundings to generate power. Kinetic energy harvesting involves uh, capturing energy from motion such as the movement of devices or the vibration in the environment. And next the R RF uh, energy harvesting is a relatively new technique that involves capturing energy from wireless signals in the environment such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and cellular signals and the EM waves and all. So next is the extensive literature review. So I have uh, studied a paper uh, on the these pa papers I like survey on energy efficient harvesting and optimization approach in IoT systems in the year 2022. It has the advantages like environmental friendly, where uh, energy harvesting techniques use renewable sources of energy such as solar, kinetic energy, thermal, which are environmental friendly, and has the design projects like complexity in the design of the devices, like uh, which which needs to be maintained properly, which can increase the technical challenges and expertise required. And next, the next paper is about uh, sensing or transmission stochastic scheduling of energy harvesting sensors towards zero carbon IoT in the year 2022. And it has the advantages like flexibility. This can be combined with other power sources such as batteries or external power sources to provide backup power or to enhance the overall uh, power output. And it has the disadvantages uh, like environmental impact. Some energy harvesting techniques like rely on the use of materials itself and which could raise environmental concerns and regulations. And next paper is about the high power density inertial energy harvester without additional proof mass for wearable, which is in the year nine, uh, 2021. It has the advantages like easy installations it requires simple installation and can be easily integrated into the design of IoT devices. And because of this easily installation and, and it has the disadvantages like maintenance and it requires the components such as solar panels which can add additional cost to the devices. So next paper is about the electromagnetic energy harvester for battery free IoT solutions in the year 2020. 2020. It has the advantages like reduced carbon footprints. By using renewable sources of energy, energy harvesting techniques can reduce the carbon footprints for the IoT devices. And it has the disadvantages like interference. Some energy harvesting techniques such as those that use the radio frequencies or magnetic fields can interfere with the other electronic devices, which could cause potentially disrupt. And next paper is about the an improved energy efficient clustering protocol to prolong the lifetime of the WSN based IoT and has the advantages of uh, improved safety, like eliminating need of the batteries and external power sources. It reduces the fires, explosions, and other safety hazards. And it has the disadvantages like environmental dependence. It depends on only 
the sunlight temperature or a wind it can actually fluctuate this uh, fluctuate significantly and may damage devices or it, it runs slowly so next is objectives to do this uh, seminar to extend the life of iot devices by enabling them to operate without batteries to maximize the power output of the energy harvesting system to reduce the amount of energy required to charge the batteries to increase the mobility of iot devices by eliminating the need of need for wired connect, connections or battery replacements next is the proposed methodology energy harvesting techniques are gaining traction in the iot space due to their ability to provide a reliable and sustainable source of power for devices so here we have discussed about the solar energy and the rf energy in solar energy is perhaps the most well known technique and is highly effective in outdoor environments with ample sunlight rf energy is effective in urban areas with a high density of wireless devices such as cell phones and wifi routers by eliminating the need for batteries or wired power connections energy harvesting techniques can simplify the installation and maintenance of iot devices especially in hard to reach locations so next is uh, again proposed methodology continuation energy harvesting techniques can enable iot devices to operate continuously without the need for frequent battery replacement or maintenance as iot devices continue to prol proliferate in various industries and applications energy harvesting techniques are expected to play an increasingly important role in powering these devices the ambient energy source are available in the environment and can be easily accessed without any cost so here the solar energy harvesting system the solar panel is the heart of the solar energy harvesting system it consists of number of photovoltaic cells that convert sunlight into electrical energy the maximum power point tracker is an electronic circuit that maximizes the output power of the solar panel by tracking the maximum power point of the solar panel the battery is used to store the electrical energy produced by the solar panel during the day for use at night or during periods of low sunlight the charged controller is used to regulate the charge of the battery by the solar panel it prevents overcharging and damage to the battery so in this in this it inverter converts the dc electrical energy produced by the solar panel and stored in the battery into an ac electrical energy that can be used to power the ac appliances so this is a block diagram of the solar energy harvesting system it consists of an ambient energy solar energy and which converts into an energy harvesting manager and which stores the energy energy storage is used for storing the energy and it dc to dc converter which converts the direct current into the direct current and which makes the power power to help device work in the iot uh, device work so next is the rf rf energy harvesting system a radio frequency energy harvesting system is a method of converting ambient rf energies from sources such as radio and tv broadcast cell phone signals and wifi signals into an usable electrical energy the antenna is the first component in the rf energy harvesting system it requires rf energy from the ambient environment and converts it into an ac signal the rectifier is used to convert the ac signal from the antenna into a dc signal the dc to dc converter is used to boost the voltages of the dc signal from the rectifier to a level that can be used to power electronic devices the dc to dc dc converter can be step up or step down converter depending on the application so in this block diagram it consists of the transmitting antenna which transmits the signals and it has the rf signals which continues to uh spread the waves and receiving antenna is there to receive the signals and matching circuits so rectifier used and then to the power uh, through the power management system which is sent to the iot devices to make them work so next is the result part solar panels for iot devices can be designed to be small and lightweight making them easy to do deploy in a variety of settings 
the power output of a solar panel is dependent on the amount of sunlight it receives solar panels may not be an effective solution for powering iot devices in areas with limited sunlight such as regions with frequent cloud cover or long period of darkness or in the climate uh, cold seasons and all solar panels can be used in combination with energy storage devices such as batteries or capacitors can be uh, used to store the energy and all and solar energy harvesting can be used to power a wide range of iot devices from small sensor to large devices such as surveillance cameras or weather stations and all so next is is about the rf energy harvesting system it is highly dependent on the availability and strength of the rf waves in the environment and the harvested power may be sufficient to power the required continuous operation the rf energy harvesting depends on the various factors such as frequency of waves the distance from the source and the efficient of harvesting circuitry the rf energy harvesting can typically harvest energy from waves within a range of few meters to a few hundred meters and the power output can vary from few microwatts the efficiency of rf energy can range from 10% to 50% depending on the design of the harvesting circuitry rf energy harvesting can be used in combination with other energy sources such as solar panels or batteries to provide a more reliable source of power for powering iot devices yes so next is the application smart buildings iot devices can be powered by energy harvesting techniques such as solar panels we have used solar panels or kinetic energy harvesters to monitor and control lighting heating and cooling systems as well as to manage energy usages so next is in the smart agriculture iot devices equipped with energy harvesting techniques can be used to monitor crop growth soil conditions and weather patterns to optimize farming practices and reduce energy consumptions so next is healthcare iot devices powered by energy harvesting techniques can be used for remote patient monitoring track vital signs and administering medications this can reduce hospitalization rates improve patients outcomes and lower healthcare cost so next is smart transportation iot devices equipped with energy harvesting techniques can be used to monitor traffic flow improve safety and reduce congestion they can also be used to track vehicles and optimize their routes at last we have come to the conclusion of the topic in conclusion energy harvesting techniques offer a promising solution for powering iot devices without the need for frequent battery replacements while energy harvesting techniques are still in the early stage of development ongoing research and advancement in materials science and engineering are expected are expected to improve the efficiency and reliability of these techniques as a result we can expect to see more widespread adoption of energy harvesting techniques in iot devices in the future leading to greater sustainability and reduced environmental impact with ongoing adva- advancement in material science and engineering we can expect to see further inter- improvements in the efficiency and reliability of these techniques leading to a greater adoption in iot applications at last we have come to the references so these are the papers which i have referred to make this ppt and to study the topic on energy harvesting techniques thank you